Could you have worms in your brain and not even know it? The most known parasite infection of the brain is neurocystocercosis or cystocercosis cellulosi, which is caused by the flatworm Tinea solium. It is transmitted to humans through fecal oral contamination or the consumption of pig meat infected with Tinea cysts. Neurocystocercosis results in the production of cysts in the brain parenchyma, leading to headaches, seizures, cognitive abnormalities, and local nerve tissue damage. Neurocystocercosis can also result in encephalitis when affecting other parts of the brain. However, there are types of worms that can infect the brain including flatworms, also known as cestodes, and roundworms, also known as nematodes, causing diseases such as echinococcus or schistosomiasis. Now that we discussed the most known parasite infection of the brain, let's discuss, in general, the different types of parasites that can infect the brain. There are two types of parasites that can infect the brain, protozoa and metazoa parasites. Protozoa parasites are single-cell parasites that cause diseases such as cerebral malaria, American trypanosomiasis, also known as Chagas disease, African trypanosomiasis, also known as sleeping sickness, toxoplasmosis, leishmaniasis, amoebiasis, and microsporidiasis. Metazoa parasites are multicellular parasites, known as worms, that cause diseases such as schistosomiasis, paragonemiasis, cystocercosis, coronarosis, echinococcus, and onchocerciasis. Which protozoan parasites infect the brain? 1. Cerebral malaria. Malaria of the brain is caused by Plasmodium falciparum, which is transmitted to humans by insect bite, known as Anopheles mosquito, resulting in encephalitis which is the inflammation of the brain. It mostly affects children in Africa and adults in Asia, and manifests with symptoms including headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, fever, nausea, vomiting, and seizures. These symptoms are due to the presence of schizons, which are mature malaria parasites, in the brain venules which causes their damage. 2. American trypanosomiasis, or Chagas disease, of the brain. American trypanosomiasis or Chagas disease is caused by Trypanosoma cruza which is transmitted to humans by insect bite, known as triatamine bug, resulting in meningoencephalitis, particularly in immunoexpressed individuals, such as individuals with HIV. It is mostly found in Latin America. 3. African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness of the brain. African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness is caused by Trypanosoma brucei, which is transmitted to humans by the tsetse fly, resulting in an infection of the brain parenchyma, which if untreated early on, leads to meningitis or meningoencephalitis with edema. 4. Toxoplasmosis of the brain. Toxoplasmosis is caused by Toxoplasma gondii, which is transmitted to humans through contaminated food with feces from cats, birds, or rodents. Toxoplasmosis infection results in cysts within the brain, but also in cardiac muscle and skeleton muscle, resulting in headaches, fever, confusion, and seizures. 5. Leishmaniasis of the brain. Leishmaniasis of the brain is caused by Leishmania donabani, which is transmitted to humans by dogs, resulting in seizures, paresis, meningoencephalitis, and cranial nerves dysfunction and hemorrhagic stroke. 6. Amoebiasis of the brain. Amoebiasis of the brain is caused by several species of amoeba, including Negleria fowleri, Acanthamoeba species, and Balamuthia mandrillaris. Negleria fowleri is found in freshwater and is transmitted to humans while swimming in freshwater. It causes meningoencephalitis that manifests with headache, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Acanthamoeba is found in water and can cause encephalitis in individuals with a weak immune system which manifests with headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, double vision, confusion, ataxia, and seizures. Balamuthia mandrillaris is found in soil, and its infection of the brain results in similar symptoms to those of acanthamoeba encephalitis. 7. Cerebral microsporidiosis Cerebral microsporidiosis is mainly caused by enterocytozoan bionusi, resulting in encephalitis and seizures. Now that we discussed the protozoan parasites that infect the brain, let's talk about the diseases caused by metazoan parasites that infect the brain and which include flatworms and roundworms. 1. Schistosomiasis 
Schistosomiasis is caused by the flatworms Schistosoma mansoni and Schistosoma hematobium, which infect the spinal cord, and Schistosoma japonicum which mostly infects the brain. These parasites are found in freshwater and infect humans through the skin, resulting in immune-mediated hypersensitivity reaction and acute encephalitis. 2. Paragonemiasis of the brain. Paragonemiasis is caused by the flatworm Paragonimus westermani, which is transmitted to humans through fecal-oral contamination or the consumption of uncooked contaminated crustaceans, example, crabs, shrimps, lobster. Paragonemiasis infection causes an inflammation associated with a reaction to the parasite or its eggs and results in cerebral hemorrhage. 3. Core neurosis. Core neurosis is caused by different tinea species, including Tinea multiceps, Cerealis, Bryuni, and Glomeritis. These parasites infect humans through the consumption of contaminated food by dogs or sheep feces, resulting in symptoms like those of neurocystocercosis, including headache, seizures, cognitive abnormalities, local nerve tissue damage, and encephalitis. 4. Hydatidosis or Echinococcus Hydatidosis or Echinococcus is caused by Echinococcus granulosus and Echinococcus multilocularis, which result in the formation of cysts in the brain. The rupture of the cysts results in cerebral lesions and seizures. 5. Sparganosis of the brain. Sparganosis is caused by the flatworms Spirometra mansoni, Spirometra ranarum, Spirometra mansonoides, Spirometra aranaceae, and Sparganum proliferum, which infect humans through drinking water. Brain sparganosis results in headaches, seizures, weakness, and abnormal skin sensations. 6. Nathostomiasis of the brain. Nathostomiasis is caused by the roundworm Nathostoma spinigerum, which is transmitted to humans through the consumption of undercooked bird's meat and freshwater fish, eels, and frogs. Although the nathostoma mainly infects the skin, it can also infect the brain, resulting in nerve pain, paralysis, coma, and death. 7. Angiostrongyliasis of the brain. Angiostrongyliasis, caused by the roundworm Angiostrongylus cantonensis, which is transmitted to humans through the consumption of undercooked food, such as shrimps, crabs, snails, and slugs. Angiostrongyliasis results in meningitis that manifests with headaches, neck stiffness, nausea, and vomiting. 8. Toxicoriasis of the brain. Toxicoriasis is caused by the roundworms Toxocora canis and Toxocora cati transmitted to humans by dogs and cats, respectively. Although infection of the brain is rare, toxicoriasis can result in meningitis, seizures, meningomyelitis, which is an inflammation of the myelin sheath, and optic neuritis, which is an inflammation of the optic nerve. 9. Strongyloidiasis of the brain. Strongyloidiasis caused by the roundworm, Strongyloides stercoralis, which is transmitted to humans through contaminated soil. Strongyloidiasis is often associated with sepsis due to the infiltration of bowel bacteria into the bloodstream following the parasite perforation of the bowel, resulting in bacterial meningitis and meningoencephalitis. 10. Balasarcoriasis. Balasarcoriasis is caused by the roundworm, Balasascaris procyonis, which is transmitted to humans by raccoons, resulting in meningoencephalitis and vision loss. 11. Ligochilis arcariasis of the brain. Ligochilis arcariasis is caused by roundworm Ligochilascaris minor leaper, resulting in purulent abscesses in the different organs of the body, including the brain. It was mainly reported in Brazil. Infection of the brain results in encephalopathy, seizures, headache, motor alterations, paresthesia, cerebellar ataxia, mental confusion, and coma. 12. Oncocerchiasis. Onchocerciasis caused by roundworm Onchocerca volvulus, which is transmitted to humans through repeated bites by blackflies of the genus Simulium. Onchocerciasis can cause nodding syndrome and epileptic encephalopathy. But how common are brain parasites? Although parasitic brain infections are less common in developed countries, they are more common in developing countries. The worldwide prevalence of parasitic diseases that can affect the brain is as follows, malaria, 214 million people, schistosomiasis, 207 million, cystocercosis, 50 million, 
Onchocerciasis, 42 million. American Trypanosomiasis, 10 million. Echinococcus, 1 million. And African Trypanosomiasis, 50,000 to 70,000 people. How do you get rid of parasites in the brain? Some parasitic infections require surgery, such as echinococcus or coronarosis, to remove the cysts, while other parasitic infections require drugs. For instance, neurocystocercosis is treated with albendazole and corticosteroids, praziquantel and corticosteroids, or a combination of the two drugs with corticosteroids. Schistosomiasis is treated with praziquantel. Cerebral malaria is treated with artesanate and quinine dihydrochloride or quinine gluconate. Onchocerciasis is treated with ivermectin and doxycycline. American trypanosomiasis is treated with benzinidazole and nefertamox, and African trypanosomiasis is treated with different drugs depending on the species of trypanosoma, including drugs such as pentamidine, ceramine, eflornithine, nefertamox, and melarsipol. In conclusion, parasitic infections of the brain are less common in developed countries, but are more common in developing countries where they have significant health and economic burden. These diseases have a neurological impact on the organs, mobility, and cognitive functions of the affected individuals, resulting in lifelong disabilities, social shame, and a reduction in economic productivity. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share for more videos like this.